Hello everybody, this is Inglorious P back in a video today, and today's gonna be a little quicker one, um, but it's a really cool one. I'm an, I bought a bunch of cards on Starstock, Starstock Bees, and I pulled them out of Starstock, and these are all bees, and so I wanted to show y'all just what constitutes a Starstock Bee. I've sent in some cards to them, and I got destroyed, guys. I don't know if y'all have ever sent stuff to them. I got absolutely destroyed. Um, I did not get the A's I thought I would, but that's okay um, because I bought a bunch of B's and we're going to see how they compare to Raw on eBay and, and maybe I can grade these. So before we begin, please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys think and let's get into it. So I already took these out of the packaging. I didn't want to embarrass myself trying to, trying to do all that, but let's start from the top and I'm going to start with Darius Garland. So I got a green mosaic here. This one looks pretty clean, a little off center, left to right, right? This one's a little longer than the right side. Um, obviously, we're not gonna be able to tell surface too well, but otherwise, the corners on this one are pretty good. Again, these are all Bs. Um, this one's a little off center, left to right. Back centering is pretty good. This one, surprise, it got a B, but maybe the surface has issues. Um, again, I don't know what constitutes a B or an A. Same one, similar here. Pretty clean. Centering's good. Um, you know, I'm hoping to take these bees and grade them or do something with them. Um, at the very least, sell them raw. You know, bees on there are cheaper than eBay, so the, the, the pros are that, you know, you get stuff cheaper. This one's obviously off center. Would probably be a nine, right? Um, back centering's good though. Corners look crisp, so obviously whoever sent in these thought they would do a little better, but I've got a pink ice one. This one's off center, definitely. Pink ice really is tough to grade in my opinion. Got another pink ice off center again. So I'll be selling those raw. And the perks to me are I can pull these out and even after the cost of shipping and buying on Starstock, I can sell it on eBay and still make a profit. So anything that doesn't look clean and won't grade well, like this one looks great. Um, anything that won't grade well, I'll just sell on eBay raw or that shows whatever. Um, but that green one looked good. OG on Anobi. Um, I mean, that centering looks good. Uh, obviously, these are hard to grade, but I paid, I think, like three, four bucks for this one. I think maybe it has edge issues. Obviously, you know, I'll take it out of the top loader later, but you know, I paid like three, four bucks for this. I got the Ruby Wave. Um, this one looks very clean. Very impressed, honestly. I mean, I mean, considering it's a B, right? I mean, it's like, uh, I guess it's a little corner issue down here. Maybe a little whitening right there. Got a Jarrett Allen, red, white, and blue. Um, it's a little hard to tell. These colors are so hard to tell this year. It, it, they're just like, the dots are really hard to tell, but little corner issues there on the Jarrett Allen. We got a Gary Trent green, off center obviously, right? You see the space, no space over here. That's just first look. Now apparently they just do first glance looks. So I mean, I guess if you want to call this a B, I mean an A then must be like supreme. I would hope that their rates of tens on A's are really high, but we'll see. Um, I got this red cracked ice. I mean, it looks good. Uh, a little, I mean, a tad off center, a tad. It looks clean at gl first glance. Now maybe I'm just biased but um we got a gary trent red here this one looks good obviously i'm looking through my phone right when i'm recording so corner a little white there got a mo bamba even though he's trash we'll kind of keep moving on that one pascal siakam donruss mm -hmm. whitening issues on the corners Dejounte murray optic and the price I paid for this, guys, it's like it's like seven bucks or something. eBay's way more. Obviously, this is off center, so I'm gonna have to sell this one, but that's fine. Now let me just make sure that the rest of these are all in some kind of order. Um, alrighty. Sorry about that. Darius Garland. We got a pink. This one's pretty clean looking. Boom. It seems like if it's one that they get a lot of, like these mosaics, these are very good looking. The prisms, they're pretty decent so far. 
the more common it looks, I think the harder they grade, but that's maybe wrong. Darius Bay's, this one's off. The pink, I don't know why. I don't know if it's a because of this print run, but the pinks just are always so off center. It's ridiculous. Uh, Lucas Semenich, this one looks clean. I got a green. Again, these are all Bs. Maybe maybe those sandwiches are A's because they're just so cheap, but yeah, it's wild. Uh, the orange, this is off center. Um, otherwise, it looks good. The Premier. Uh, you know, I struggle with these. It looks good to me. Um, I'm sure y'all will comment and tell me what you think. I've got two oranges here. Right, so... I mean, these look good. These look good. I don't know why I'm so shaky today. It's crazy. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, we got a ton of these. Yeah. So I bought a ton of these for like dirt cheap, guys. Like dirt cheap. And this is why I like Star Stock because these were all considered bees, I believe. Yeah, they, they were all bees. And I got these for like 50 cents each. And if he ever develops into a player, these will go way up. Obviously, that's off-centered. We're just going to kind of skip through these. Off-centered on the back. Off-centered on the back. So, that's off-centered, you guys. <laughs> I mean, look at that. See that gap? Part of that gap? Off-centered. Uh, off-centered. I mean, this one looks decent. This one looks decent I mean hmm? looks I mean the picture looks off though maybe it's just the top loader um, select off center off center off center so these sandwich bees I mean I paid 50 cents for them so that's kind of the value I'm getting for them I'd be upset if I bought like John Morant bees and I got these back like this but um, they look good uh, off center so only like one in there that looks decent the sandwiches ones they killed me on those now let's see what the rest is in this stack we got a green prism here um, this looks good this looks very good that might be grade worthy we got another green one here. Uh, looks pretty solid. Looks pretty solid for a B. I ain't mad at a B. Now, obviously, these might have surface issues, right? I, I mean, they're still in top loaders. I haven't really messed with them. This one's off center. Uh, off center on the back. Um. Let's see what else is in here. We got Bruce Brown pink cracked dice. Uh, off center, left to right. It's that. We got another Bruce Brown here. I would love to know conversion rates on Star Stock Bs. I'm sure I'll let y'all know. Got a Nicholas Claxton. Got three of his prisms. Again, these were Bs. And a lot of people, so what a lot of people did was they sent in stuff to Starstock, right? And they're thinking, okay, I can get a lot of A's on these and sell for a premium. But the problem is Starstock, like this one's obviously off-center. I don't know who thought that might get an A, right? People sent in, though, thinking they'd get A's. And, you know, a lot of people are disappointed because they got a lot of Bs and what they thought were clean. So either the people themselves are incorrect in their evaluations or Starstock is just uber difficult on cards. I think that's, I think the latter option, um, I think Starstock is just difficult. Um, I think that's how they got their partnership with PSA, see off center left to right. I think they got their partnership because I'm sure in their agreement they say, hey, we give you all your own special submission service. In exchange, you guys kind of pre-grade hard for us, make sure we only get good stuff to grade um, so we can either make it nine and tens, get this moving, so. This one looks good. DeJounte Murray. Um, this one looks fine. On the back looks good. So some of these DeJounte Murrays are doing pretty well. Donruss, I mean obviously Donruss is a easier grade, right, compared to others. But 
not a bad one here. And the last ones, I got four Jared Allen Optic Shocks. That's one. That's two. Three. And four. Now, I don't see any print lines, obviously, when I take it out of the top loader, it'll be easier to tell. But overall, it cost me, I think, like 25 bucks to ship all these home. Again, I did not pay, like, I paid below eBay comps, essentially, because I bought Starstock Bs. Overall, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at this. You know, I would say these are clean. These probably not. As far as potential tens, right? I, I mean, I think this is a good amount of really just clean stuff. Um, I walked through it all with y'all, but yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Have you guys done this before? Have you brought stuff back? Um, I'm going to continue to buy stuff and bring it back and I'll continue to try and send stuff into them. That's worth it. My problem is I think I'm just going to send graded stuff because they grade so hard on raw stuff and I get it. That's part of their draw, but uh, to me, it's not worth it because if I send it in as B, it's worth less than if I just sell it raw on eBay, right? You're selling, you're sending into star stock, hoping you're getting a quick A and a quick sell. Uh, profits without having to grade, right? Without having to pay grading costs. But to me, I sent in, uh, I believe, 10 Kevin Porter Juniors. Only like three got A's. And they were all uber clean, guys. I definitely check my stuff. I show y'all kind of how I work through things quickly. Obviously, I take a more detailed approach with my own stuff um, when I'm not on camera. But yeah, so I'm going to continue to buy stuff and send it home. <laughs> if I'm paying below comps and we're going to see how well I can sell these online. Um, I'll keep y'all updated. Overall, I don't have much invested in this. I'll get the totals for y'all. I'll keep y'all updated on uh, money I make on this, what I grade, how they do. I think it'll be fun. So I appreciate y'all watching. If you made it this far, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.